What's up, Wolves? I have a new overhand throwing game for you today called the Water Bottle Target Challenge. All right? You are going to continue to work on your accuracy from a di certain distance that works best for you in your location. Okay? So here's how this game will work. If you are playing indoors, highly suggest you play with a sock ball. All right, watch my video on how to make a sock ball so you do not do any damage or harm inside your house. If you are playing outdoors and you have a tennis ball, that will work fine, okay? Next, you will need, obviously, a water bottle. You want to fill it just under half full for the best um, weight distribution for it to land. You will also need one piece of paper. That is where you will flip your water bottle onto so that you will stay consistent with the location of your target. Then you will need a throwing line, okay? So my throwing line is 15 feet away from my water bottle. However, you may be indoors and you can adjust accordingly, okay? If you can go a little bit further, after you knock it out from 15, go ahead. If you have to start a little bit closer, that is fine. Finally, I suggest you have a backstop. That way you're not chasing the ball the entire time, okay? I have a fold-up table that I play down on the side. If you're playing indoors, if you're using a sock ball, you can put it in front of a wall, okay? Just something so that you can have more chances and more opportunities to get the ball back quickly, okay? So here's how the game will work. You will start at your water bottle, and you must perform a water bottle flip. So you toss it up, as it, once it flips and it lands on that piece of paper, then you're gonna run back to your throwing line, pick up your ball, T, L, step, and throw. If you knock down the water bottle, you go pick up the ball, you get one point, and then you flip again, and you continue to go back and forth. If you miss, the water bottle. All you do is get your ball and return back to that line and then throw again. Okay? So one point for every time you knock down the water bottle. Once you get the hang of this game and you do some practice rounds, I want you to set a timer for three minutes and see how many points you can get within those three minutes. Again, this is a bonus challenge and it is going to be tricky. Okay? The water bottle flip is pretty tricky. You need to get the hang of it first. Okay? I'll show you a quick little demonstration and then you guys can just play on your own. Alright? Enjoy. Alright, it's a one minute demo. Ooh, that was lucky. Alright, so I landed on the paper, go over my ball, get behind the line, seat, L, step, and go. Miss, the finger back stop. Hopefully this is a little bit easier because it's higher up. Keep out. 